We'll pray the angelus now. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O oh, forth, beseech your Lord, your grace into our hearts, that through the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the messenger of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Friends, we begin our celebration invoking the blessings of the Holy Trinity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to our celebration this afternoon. Today, our Mass is offered for the intentions of Maria and Jose de Azevedo. Also, I request, your, uh, I request you to offer your personal intentions to the Lord your thanksgiving, and all what you feel about yourself. And also we pray for different countries who are suffering due to this COVID pandemic. And especially we think of India uh, and many other countries as well. And we pray that God may bring healing to the world. And we are here to take part in these sacred mysteries of the Lord. Friends, now we think of our own failures and we ask God's pardon and mercy, and especially we seek the mediation of our Holy Blessed Mother for this grace as we offer this Mass for, uh, for, the, uh, for Our Lady as well. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of blessed Virgin Mary, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. I will thank you and praise you and bless the name of the Lord. When I was still a youth, before I went travelling, in my prayers I asked outright for wisdom. Outside the sanctuary, I would pray for her, and to the last, I will continue to seek her. From her blossoming to the ripening of her grape, my heart has taken its delight in her. My foot has pursued a straight path. I have been following her steps ever since my youth. By bowing my ear a little, I have received her and have found much instruction. Thanks to her, I have advanced. The glory be to him who has given me wisdom. 
for I am determined to put her into practice. I have earnestly pursued what is good. I will not be put to shame. My soul has fought to possess her. I have been scrupulous in keeping the law. I have stretched out my hands to heaven and bewailed my ignorance of her. I have directed my soul towards her and in purity have found her. The word of the Lord. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The, the law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted. It gives wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right. They gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear. It gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding forever. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. They are more to be desired than gold, than the purest of gold, and sweeter are they than honey, than honey from the comb. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to God our Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and may the fullness of his message live within you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Jesus and his disciples came to Jerusalem, and as Jesus was walking in the temple, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him, and they said to him, What authority have you for acting like this? Or who gave you authority to do these things? Jesus said to them, I will ask you a question, only one. Answer me, and I will tell you my authority for acting like this. John's baptism, did it come from heaven or from man? Answer me that. And they argued it out this way among themselves. If we say from heaven, he will say, then why did you refuse to believe him? But there we say from man, they had the people to fear, for everyone held that John was a real prophet. So the reply to Jesus was, we do not know. And Jesus said to them, no, will I tell you my authority for acting like this. Friends, the saving gospel of the Lord. Christ your Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we listen to the readings of today's liturgy in today's gospel passage taken from the gospel of St. Mark. We see uh, no, our Lord was questioned by three categories of people who had authority uh, among the people, such as chief priests, scribes, and elders. And uh, their question was, now, by what authority are you doing these things? And probably they would have seen Jesus was preaching in the temples and also teaching in their synagogues and healing people and also performing miracles too. And their question was, by what, what authority are you doing these things? Now, when we look at the authority of Jesus, the authority of Jesus is coming from the triune God. It is not our Lord's authority that he was acting like that. It was coming from God, from the triune God, my brothers and sisters. And that's how our Lord was able to preach the good news to the poor. And also our Lord taught them 
the scriptures and our Lord was so uh, kind in healing people and also performing miracles as well. So, about in all these things, my brothers and sisters and children, what our Lord was doing, the will of the Father. Doing the will of the Father means doing the right thing, the just thing. When you do the right thing, when you do the just thing, you're always doing the will of the Father. If you do the wrong thing, if you do, the, do a bad thing, then we are not doing the will of the Father. Probably we may be doing the will of the demon or the devil. Therefore, Jesus was always doing the will of the Father, the right and the just thing. As a result, my brothers and sisters, our Lord uh, uh, kind of no, was not ready to make any compromise or accept any intimidation as well. So, we need to learn from the Lord and that we must never, for any reason, my brothers and sisters, give up on God. Therefore, uh, we, our prayer every day should be that, you no, know, asking the Lord to teach us to do your will, not my will or will of anyone else, but to do the will of the Father in heaven, meaning doing the right thing, the just thing. And the good Lord will bless all of us through the intercession of our Holy Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given, and human hands have made, till become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of water and wine, may we come to share the dignity of Christ who humbled himself in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, till become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash my nakedness and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my sisters, brothers, and children, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid. And may he who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin did not diminish but consecrated her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds, may our oblation acceptable to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Lord. When on earth our beloved your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Archbishop, Donald, his auxiliary, and all the clergy, religious, and God's loving people and children. Remember your servants, Maria and Jose, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph Spouse, with the blessed Apostles, Saint Patrick, Saint Eugene de Mazenod, Saint Mary of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co as to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Per ipso med cum ipso eti hini ipso. Esti video patri omnipotenti in unitate spiritus ahanti. Omnes o honoret gloria. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, friends, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, friends.
Lamb of God, and take away the May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation. Through your loving mercy, for me protection in mind and body. Healing God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. My soul shall be the body and blood of Christ. Come on, stay with me. Third jubilee, the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We'll offer the prayer to us, uh, Holy Saint, Saint Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God and through the paternal love 
with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Friends, uh, Brother New, uh, who, we, uh, who, is with, who was with us now, will be going back to Melbourne on Monday. Hope he will have a good flight uh, and will not have any difficulty. And uh, from there, he will get back to uh, Vietnam, where he came from. And there, maybe in time to come, he will be ordained a deacon, and eventually he'll be a priest as well. He'll be ordained a priest. So uh, we congratulate our brother, uh, and also we are very grateful to him for being with us for about three months and uh, sharing our life and also um, giving his support and strength to the community as well. As we all know, friends, we are an aging community. All of us are aging. So he's the youngest in the community. I am also old, and he was supporting me and supporting our fathers as well. Well, uh, thank you, brother, for all your efforts and all your dedication and love, especially serving at St. Patrick's Care Home, and they loved him so much and gave him a wonderful send-off as well. So thank you, and we'll give him a round of applause. And also we'll pray for him, and he will pray for us definitely. And also we'll pray for vocations to the priesthood and religious life here in Australia and in other countries as well. So let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Today being Saturday, my brothers and sisters, let us praise God for our Holy Blessed Mother. We will sing Immaculate Virgin. Thy praises we sing, and you can join with me, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Immaculate Mary, thy praises we sing, who reigns in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven the blessed thy glory proclaim. On earth we thy children invoke thy fair name. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Mary, Queen of Apostles, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, and God bless you, friends.